Hey guys, this is Upesh from Mio.com and Google has announced a new Android update. It's called Android 12 L. Now, if you're confused, Android 12 L is basically what we have been calling Android 12.1 over the last few months. But you know what? This is a big, big update for devices with big, big screens, be it foldables, rollables, tabletables, uh, I mean tablets. Now, I have been trying out Android 12 L and it's actually a very interesting update. So let me show you what Android 12 L is all about. First off, I know what you're thinking. Why Android 12 L? Well, I think the L is for large screens. I mean, it makes sense. Anyway, I have tried out Android 12 L running on the Android Studio emulator on Windows. And yeah, I tried it on both tablets and foldables. And you know what? This solves all of the issues I have had with Android on the bigger screen. See, most Android tablets, especially the tablets with stock Android, have a UI that's just a phone UI expanded for the bigger screen and it's not very intuitive. This is what 12L fixes. First off, here's the notification shade and quick settings on 12L and as you can see, it is divided now. The quick settings toggles along with the users, bar and settings button are on the left and the notifications are on the right. Now this is great because this is proper use of the biggest screen. I mean on stock Android tablets, you still get the same phone-like notification shade which just does not make sense. Anyway, the music controls also come up here on the quick settings side which is nice. Now the settings app has also been optimized in 12L. It finally uses a dual pane design making use of the big real estate. I mean it's a simple thing and I've seen Samsung tablets using this dual pane design but it's only now that stock Android gets this. I'd say better late than never. So basically, you can go to the different settings and they show up in the pane on the right. Now another UI element that's more optimized in 12L is the lock screen. So this is the new lock screen in 12L and as you can see, it uses a two column layout. There's the clock on the left and the notifications on the right. Again, proper use of the screen. Now one cool thing on the lock screen is that the pattern or pane UI is now displayed on the side for better access to your fingers. And you can just tap on the other side to bring the pattern or pin control to the other side like this or you know like this this should be super useful now apart from this there are a lot of other minor visual improvements in 12l for example the whole fold to unfold transition in apps has become more seamless this looks cool right there's also quick wallpaper change in the home screen context menu which i haven't found yet now this is great but one android 12 l feature that i'm really excited about is multitasking gestures so you must have noticed this new taskbar here in 12L. Now this taskbar is pretty handy because this lets you drag and drop apps to open in split screen quickly. For this, you have to have an app open. For example, I have Chrome open here and I can press hold on the YouTube music icon here and drag it to either the left side or the right side to open it up quickly in split screen. I mean, I like this. I mean, to be honest, iPad OS's multitasking gestures are more advanced. They're more extensive. But yeah, this is kind of a good start for Android. And just let me show you the multitasking gesture on 12L once again. So here I have the camera app open and I can drag the photos app on the side like this. I mean, it's easy and I'm doing this with the mouse. With touch, it should be even more seamless. Plus one thing to note is that with Android 12, every single app out there will enter the multi-window mode. Anyway, there are some more multitasking improvements in 12L. First off, the recent screen looks like this. And as you can see, there's a new split button in the first app so that you can quickly launch an app in the split screen along with another app in the recent screen. Now, apart from this, Android 12L has the swipe right or left from the bottom gesture to switch between apps quickly. Now, this is something that I noticed was missing in stock Android on the Realme Pad that I used recently. So yeah, it's good that it's finally here in Android. Then there's the split screen mode, which is pretty much the same. You can resize the split, but yeah, only two apps can run at the same time. Now, if you're wondering about the taskbar, you can put apps here like this, and it hides when you're in a game or watching a video. And you can even manually hide it by long pressing, but that's not working yet in this first developer preview. Apart from this, Android 12 L will also make the Play Store better. On big screen devices, the Play Store will show apps that are more optimized for the bigger screens. There'll also be separate ratings for tablet version of apps. The update will also bring a nearby calling feature that lets you take calls on the Nest Hub or switch a call from a phone to the Nest Hub. Now, apart from all of that, there's obviously a lot of under the hood changes and guidelines for developers to, you know, build better apps for the bigger screen, be it foldables or tablets. So that's nice. Anyway, what devices will get the new Android 12L update? 
So first up, the beta release will arrive on the Lenovo Tab P12 Pro as well as the Pixel devices. Yeah, the Pixel phones will be getting the Android 12 L update even though most of the features are obviously bigger screen specific. But yeah, Pixels will get this update. Now, what about the stable release? Well, Google is aiming the stable release for around March, just in time for the next-gen foldables. In fact, Samsung has confirmed that it will bring some of the 12L features to its Z Fold 3 foldable device. So that's pretty much everything we know about the new Android 12 L update. And you know what, if you ask me, I think this is a very interesting update. I mean, it's not perfect and this is a very early build and I want to try it out properly on a device to get a better idea. But this is a good start. I say this because Samsung Z Fold foldable phone is a mainstream device. There are devices like the Oppo X, the rollable smartphone, which we went hands on a few months back. Then there's the Mi Mix Fold and the rumored Pixel Fold. See, the point is, Foldable smartphones are the future and they deserve a beautiful new UI that makes use of the bigger screen estate. So yes, Android 12 L is a step in the right direction. Anyway, what do you guys think? Do you think your next phone will be a foldable running say Android 12 L or you still don't trust foldable smartphones? Comment down your thoughts in the comments down below. Also, if you want to try out the new Android 12 L update, you can check out a guide from the link in the description. Also, give this video a like, make sure to share it, subscribe to our channel for more amazing tech videos. Well, that's me signing off. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.